can't think of one person that didn't gave me a dollar or a coin. You know what I'm saying? But I can tell you plenty of people that got them and doubted me. Plenty of people that got them and they, they like what I do, love what I do, but just hate doing it. All of it. Mopping in the Bentley, smoking more. Hey, rock. Hey. Pocket full of mother blue, blue, rock. What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to On The Gas Show. And we're back with another video, guys. And today's going to be an exciting day just because we're going to be working on some cat eyes today. Now, if you guys remember, we got this nice little, call this one the Blue Magic. Fresh paint job, suspension, motor. We just changed the cam on it. We are putting a supercharger. But before we do all that, we need to lower it just a little bit more. I feel like we have a nice gap here in the front. And we are taking this one, boy, Chewy. Maybe drop it another inch, an inch and a half. Give it a nice little stance. And we're going to be doing that right now. But before we do that, guys, I pulled out. Not like that. But I pulled out the one and only, the Chevy Rap. Now, everybody likes this truck. For whatever reason, people like this four-door cat eye. And you should see everybody wants to buy it, bro. They've offered me some good money for this truck. And this is the only truck that is not for sale. I'd rather sell gaps than this one. Nah, you lied. <laughs> for real. <laughs> this is this is this is my baby right here. I ended up buying this one off a homeboy. It already has some nice wheels, some 17s, it had some 33s and everything. I ended up putting some wheels and some tires, some 22s on 33s. I did some paint on it. I remember I took it to Lalo. We painted the roof, we painted the hood. I think the grill, the bumper was kind of fucked up. We added some new lights. We added the fog lights. And this thing has literally just been put up my house for the longest. I was like, you know what? I feel like driving the, the Chevy Raptor today. You know what I mean? I can bring the Cadillac, the TRX, the Shelby. What else I got? McLaren. The McLaren, the Supra. I'm missing one. The 450. But ain't nothing like driving a 2006 four-door sleeper. This one doesn't make any noise. It doesn't waste a lot of gas. It has a nice little sound system by Roberta the Auto Shop. But today, we're going to fuck it up. We're going to put long tube headers, a full exhaust. I think I want a cam in and maybe put a supercharger. What do you think, Frank? That's going to be nice. And it's 4x4 too, right? Yeah, it's 4x4. Yeah, 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 it's 4x4. It's a clean little, nice little rig. You know what I'm saying? Nothing nothing too crazy. Don't pay attention to this. I bought it like that. And it doesn't even smell like that. Like the no, it doesn't. No, they're, they're gone. They've been there for years and I just never took them out. But today, we're going to be dropping this thing off with my boy Rolando at Aces. The truck is literally stock. I'm going to turn it off for you guys. Sleeper, bro. Literally. It's yeah, it's nice and quiet. Yeah, and this thing is fucking dirty. I need to wash it. I changed the alternator already because it, it goes bad. Just it sits at the house forever and it goes bad. The battery too. I already swapped out the battery a couple of times in the alternator. Uh, but this thing is completely stock. Everything works. I think I want to put some long tube headers and a full exhaust all the way to the back. Some nice tips. And then maybe a little supercharger or maybe a nice little cam. You know what I'm saying? I want this thing kind of like to, to wake up. We'll probably do like a little LSA supercharger on this thing. So it could be a nice sleeper. But let's go before they close because it's kind of late. And we got a lot of things to do. What's that? We're not doing that. Oh. No. Yeah. Not on this one. Yeah, put it on. Oh, no, no. That was oh, not Takashi. Damn, I have to bring Takashi over here. I know. Can't wait. What's up, though? You want to put it up? This is the ultimate sleeper. It was. It still is for now. Yeah, it still is for now. We're going to do long tube headers, mm -hmm. wide pipe. Okay. Uh, 6 No, it's 5-3. I'll put a supercharger on it. Give me a nice, quiet exhaust. Like, un borla, pero que no sea, ¿cuál es el otro borla? El XR1? The XR1's not quiet. No? That one's louder than the borla tank? No, but it's not quiet. There's, I'll show you one right now that I like. I like to describe it as a Seeper style muffler. It's a big magnet flow, about this big, and it's it's a nice. But that one's gonna be too quiet. You need a supercharger, you know? Yeah. You need a camera? Yeah. That'll be okay. That'll sound really good. I like to describe it as a Seeper style muffler where you don't hear it. Until you step on it. Okay. I like that. The next one, not, not so in. I mean, it's the. I just. Because you said quiet. I wouldn't describe XR1 as, as quiet. Which one's more quiet? XR1 or the attack? XR1. More quiet? Mm -hmm. I had an XR1 one time and that sounded really good. Yeah, this thing is heavy, huh? What? I had a heavy. Yeah, this thing is 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 heavy. Yeah, this thing Struggling, bro. I mean, it's been stuck for a while. I think it's time to, you know, fuck it up. So everything's original still, right? So give me the no catch, right? Of course, white pipe. I see why the mask for atrás, and we're gonna get that dual tip, pero negro. Uh, de angulo. Como el corsa, okay. pero negro de angulo. 
I got you. My goodness. I'm actually getting some made right now and I'll get them in tomorrow. Okay, so you don't have anything time. right now? In black, no. But it comes in tomorrow. Okay. Let me see how much you're talking about. And I, you know what? I've been trying to do this for a while. We never had the chance. And today, today's a chance. Yeah, we finally got a little bit of downtime. Uh, no, 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 el, el de lado. Okay, está bien, entonces. No, no, necesita que ser negro. Is that the tip you want? No, that's not it. From Acosta? No, that one's, that one's one of them, but that's not the one I want. Like a Stanley Cup. The Stanley Cup? Oh, the cup, the actual <laughs> Yeti. Oh, lo va a poner uno negro. Yeah, yeah, pero el otro está como... El otro es el cor, parece corsa, pero es de lado. We've added a couple of times to one of our couple of trucks. This one doesn't go here, this one goes on the other side. Porque no puede estar salido más este que este. Este no es. Yeah, one job, Acosta. Yeah, one job, bro. <laughs> That's the only black one that was there. Uh, but no, the ones that you're talking about, they come in tomorrow. Yeah, the, side, the ones that are like this, huh? Man, that's a big box, bro. I can already not hear it. <laughs> oh. But trust me, I like this one. It's a nice sleeper style sound. You hear a little bit at idle, and then you step on it, and you hear it more. Okay, Especially so with headers, it bumps it up a little bit more. So let's start one is too loud. From a one to 10 XR1 with the headers, I'd say like a seven and a half, eight. This yeah. one, I'd say like a six. Well then, okay, let's do this one. I think you'll like it. I just want to, just a little rubble. You know? I mean, either way, we'll put it on. If you don't like it, we'll just swap it out here. Yeah. But I really does, want you to hear this one. I know a guy that does mufflers. <laughs> yeah, let's put this one on. So which one's this one, Magnaflow what? It's just Magnaflow, but I just, I mean, it's a 22 inch body, so I just call it a 22 inch muffler. The 22 inch yeah. muffler. Let's do the 22 and then we have a lot of space in down there. Yeah, it's plenty of space. So you want the dual tip on the side? Si, así, normalón, como cualquier otro troca, nada más, que sea negro. Cuando tiene un iPhone, everything's black or color match, I think it'll, it'll, it'll complement the black. Okay. And then, yeah, something like this for a negro. This is the one I'm, I'm talking about, but in black. It is polished black or just flat black? Yeah, flat black. Yeah, flat black. So, something like that. Oh, yeah. I usually go about right there. Uh, uh, but the pipe is there. Pero, uh, bájala. Así. What do you mean? Oh, straight it out? Si. Sí. Un poquito más straight it out. Ah, ¿Cuánto más está I mean, usually I angle it, but it's wherever you want. Un poquito más flat, así. Que no te te arriba. I got you. Well, 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 you think you told me, because normally I do tuck it in. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Okay. What size of pipe are we using? Oh, three inch. Three inch? This is three inch right here? Three inch inlet, four inch out. Those four inch tips. Okay, so three inch all the way. Three inch, yeah. Okay, we'll be back tomorrow. All right, I'll see you. Oh, before we leave, you got something for me. Where's it at? Right here. Yeah. All right, guys, so we've been talking about doing mufflers that sound like a NASCAR. For the first time, we are gonna have, these are called boom tubes, and they should make the truck sound like a NASCAR. I mean, the truck already sounds like a NASCAR. What'd you guys think? What'd you think, Frank? No, it already sounds pretty sick. It sounds good. It sounds good. But it can always sound better. Yeah. I'm a real big muffler guy, and uh, the sound of every vehicle matters. It's not the size, it's you, the sound. And you put it two. And we're putting two. Now, we gotta put these holes on, and then we, we might have to cut them, right? Or well, we're gonna put these in the back. I don't even know how they're gonna fit, but we'll figure it out. ¿Qué tal que si lo ponemos estos facing to the back? I thought that's the way it goes. Uh, well, they go, no, they go to no, the side. They go to the side, but usually they trim them or something. How? You go to the side and then That's you like an angle. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Because I see it. Of course. Yeah. So they usually get cut at an angle and then just cut it. But I mean, I say try it to the back first. See what you think after that. And then we can, before we cut it. Because once you cut it, that's it. And we have straight pipe to the muffers, right? We don't have straight pipe to the back. Uh, in Takashi, you have both to the back and the sides. No, no, no. It's straight pipe to the side, no mas. Oh, and to the back, yeah. we got the... To the back, we, yeah, the other spin takes. Okay, so yeah. then we take off the spit, the, other, the mufflers to the back, and then we'll just run them to the back. Yeah, it should be doable somehow. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're just going to straight pipe it until... Until the back. Until the back. Yeah, because the, the, yeah, yeah. the muffler's in the tip. And we can always cut it. I think we can cut, like, we have all this. So right here, right? I wouldn't go past this. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, no puedes, porque ya está, yeah, you get into. But I'd still like to use the whole thing to see how it's out. Okay. And then we work after that. Maybe... Maybe we can, we're gonna have to cut it a little bit. Probably. We're gonna have to cut at least half. Why? Para que no te tan adentro, I don't know. Nah, I mean, it's the same as is. It's the, the back half still the same. All right, I mean, it's, okay. No, it should be okay. Okay. I mean, you have coilovers, verdad? Yes. Actually, we may have to trim it a little bit. Uh, yeah. If we can trim it, I mean, I think we have all this to actually trim it. Does it affect the sound when you trim it? Well, if you look inside, the ingenuity is like right here and to right here. And then this is just extra stuff. And it's really meant to go on the side so you can actually cut this in an angle 
and give it, give it a different sound. Now this one can't go in front of the tire because it's too big. How do you know more about the muffers than me? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I've been There's a lot of research on this one. Oh, yes. <laughs> Every night I'm looking at mufflers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Before you go to sleep. Before I go to sleep, I look at mufflers. I mean, I don't know. I'm not a, a expert. I'm just fucking guessing. But I've seen YouTube videos where they they trim them. They trim them. They cut the, they cut half and then they put them to the sides and stuff like that. Now I don't think we can do that to the single cap because it's too it's too short. There's not a lot of space down there. Right. The coilovers so, short. The coilovers and that thing has a, a ladder bar, so we're just gonna run it all the way to the back. So we're gonna pretty much straight pipe it all the way to the back, and then this is gonna be our muffler right here. And hopefully it'll sound badass. I'm already excited. Once we pick this one up tomorrow, we'll film. We have to think about the cash so we can. Okay. We can do we'll that. figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. All right. See you tomorrow. Let's go. Let's see you. complimented by a professional so that means that i'm doing a good job on your uh, muffler skills on my muffler, muffler skills. research yeah, yeah 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 knowledge on your muffler knowledge yeah i mean i don't know a lot but you know what i'm saying i'll be looking at youtube and stuff like that you know sometimes you gotta you never know everything you can always learn something you know even the best like acosta acosta's great at cameras but he always learns you can i keep learning yeah yeah you gotta expand your mind now if you think you know it all you don't so we're always down to learn new stuff and today, I taught my boy Rolando a little bit about mufflers. We need shit. Who is? Bud Light. Oh. So do we get Bud Light or do we tell Jose? No, let's tell Jose. Oh, no. All right. He should be all right. Jose, I got a job for you. Be careful. Yeah. Be very careful. You're going to drive my dually. Okay. Can you drive it? What you mean? I mean, yes or no? Uh, what you? To Chewy's. Down the street. All right. You should be good, huh? Yeah. You're gonna, you're gonna, we're going to be driving and you're going to be following us. Like, not follow us, but like on the side. He's gonna tell you what to do. Put the window down. Here, let me give you the key. Give the key in the center console. All right. all right, move the seat up all the way you need yeah. to, or whatever you need to do, dog. Mm. You're way up there. Okay, you got it? Yeah. Make sure, hey, it's got big hips. It's got a big ass, okay? Right. So make sure you're looking at it on the mirror and everything. Yeah. And just listen to Acosta. Okay. Oh, he's gonna be behind you. So open the middle part right there in the middle, hit the middle switch. It's gonna open the back window, the little window. There you go, the sliding window. And that way you can talk to him if he needs to, okay? Just pay attention to your surroundings, okay? The fuck up my truck, please. <laughs> Complicated, but I think I prefer the old school six six gear, the regular, eight, the the regular, regular shit. stuff. This is cool. Uh, maybe we just need to drive it a little bit more. I think so. Get the, get the hang of it. I think if we cut all this and this, it makes it easier. It's just a hassle because it keeps hitting. It does, yeah. Sometimes it don't, it don't go through. Bro, I'm like, there you got my brother Holly Dance. You can miss a shift if it doesn't go, go through. Yeah. That's the bad part about this. On the other one, it's going in no matter what, right? Well, it's because it's hits. 
that's the thing. That's what I mean. It's kind of hard to miss a gear on a sequential, but it's hitting. It's hitting. So that's yeah, why it's, you're yeah, missing. Yeah. So we got to cut like right here. You got to take this whole motherfucking thing off, but it still hits here. Not unless we get a shorter shifter. Yeah. I don't know. We might change it out. If you guys want us to leave it like this, we can leave it like that. Or what you guys think? Comment down below. We should go back to regular standard, regular manual, or do or keep it like this and just keep uh, struggling. heads from Texas Speed. We ended up putting a Texas Speed cam on it and we do have some uh, PRC heads from Texas Speed as well. LS3 style, so whenever we put the supercharger, everything's gonna work by us. But we will be taking this truck with my boy Rashad at Boost District and we are picking up the single cab GMC, which was turbo and now it's supercharged. That thing made about 650 horsepower to the tires on E85, so that's a bad little burnout truck. Now, we go picking that thing up this Thursday and dropping this one off, and then maybe we can take that red one to Freddy Show. That's a beautiful truck, bro. Out of all of them, that's actually one of my favorite trucks. It's nice. Yeah. <laughs> we got to downshift. Yeah. I'm like, oh shit, it's green, we gotta. We gotta move. It kinda sounded like you took off on second. That was on first. It's on first. So the red GMC, that's uh, that's just one of your favorites. That's a badass truck. It is a badass truck. Like it's literally, like even when it was turbo, now supercharged or whatever, it sits nice. It's, it looks good on the drag radios with the skinnies in the front. Now that one sounds really good with the with the nice cam and the supercharger that we put on it. That thing has like 8,000 miles. That's the best thing about it. And I don't know, it might be a giveaway. People really actually like that truck. We've been having that truck for a while, and uh, it might be a giveaway. So if you want that thing as a giveaway, comment down below. Let us know. We want to know. What you guys want you know what i'm saying we got the sauce and everything but if you guys want that gmc sierra it might be the next giveaway coming up right no yeah that's a badass truck i think a lot of people are really gonna like it it's yeah. new low miles it sits nice it has a badass sound system You guys need some springs. My boy, you got all the springs over here. Huh? Where'd you park the truck? 
Oh, you didn't hit nobody? No. Okay, thank you. <laughs> One of the safest rides I've been in. Well, it was nice and slow, huh? Nah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, it was rough? Come on, he did a good job. <laughs> I bounced a little. Hey, Bolt took off his head and everything. I he know. Was... He was concentrating. Just like the Nissan, right? <laughs> Just like the Nissan. I told the F fan on me. Carnage, you need just a clock. Do all this is he locked in seats. We rolling that coupe with a bucket. Got it up like a football clique. I used to drop out of that photo geek. Hola, me da. Ya want. Bajo mineral, ¿verdad? Oh, no, fresca. Todos. Whatever you can, though. ¿Qué onda, hijo? ¿Qué onda, Maus? Dame cuatro frescas, sodas frescas preparadas con limón, sal y tajín. Y me das una mangonada chica y una carne seca con preparada. ¿Plata? Sí. Ah, en platito, sí, en la charola. What you smiling about, bro? You texting the honeys or what? No, not today. You need to. Yeah, for real. I'm a little bit Mm-hmm. What's up, dog? Hablamos de antojados. Yeah. Ya está, va? Yeah. Ya está completo, Got a little squirter. Squirted a little bit in the gun in wallet. You got some rags? Oh, you got napkins. Dejame estar aquí. Dejame dar la vuelta. Agarralas, agarralas, agarralas. Okay, okay, okay. Is it alcohol free? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't drink during mm. work hours, bro. We, drink, we don't. Drink, I don't. The week makes you wine. I drink during the week, but not during the day. I just can't. ¿Se mojó mucho? No. No. No, no, no. pasa nada. It's Louis. It's a water resistant or what? It's a bulletproof. Bulletproof. Come down, John Wick. Bet the wick. Oh, that comes off? Well, it came off. Mm. Alex probably already knows about that spot. I know that It's good or what? Yeah. You want your second gummy? You want your second gummy already? No. Yeah. Where the first little go? The what? The first gummy. Where's it at? <laughs> it's gone. Yeah. Got a little tray. Mm. So, what the marija? Me hago la boca, wey. Literally, bro, it took us we to go get some drinks and that's it. It was done in less than 30 minutes. <laughs> there it is. Looks good. It's nice. Mm. Oh, shit. We got a fucking I think we'll worry about cup holders once we figure this thing out. Yeah. Oh, right there. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Dumping the clutch and everything. What's up?
you got the monster truck keys. For what? I told Tiny like a month ago. You need to move your truck. You can't just come and park it right here in the middle of the yard. And sure enough, his truck's been there for a long time. So what we're gonna do? <laughs> we're gonna move them off. Okay. We're gonna move it to the back or that way? The hitch the Wait, which way, Bud Light? Yeah. You ain't got nothing to do with this? Leave it there. <laughs> We're gonna move that truck then. Well, Bud Light's the one that said that has to move, huh? No, <laughs> you gonna strap it? Let's pull it that way. Oh, we gotta put that one on neutral, no? Oh, I see. Oh my God. You should have moved it when I told him to. Fucking key. He takes the key home. Ain't nobody wanna try that piece of shit. <laughs> well, we haven't used it, so we didn't use it. Yeah, it's been a while. We haven't gone across being a while. I think we're getting rain on Monday. Okay. So we can go sometime next week. All right. Where are we gonna hook it up? Hook it up. <laughs> we're not gonna break it? Bitch. Oh my god. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't trying to hit it. It didn't do nothing. Hey bro, do whatever you want. I, I mean, it's out of the way here. Oh, that didn't sound good. Are you unhooked? They're super tight now. Fuck that. Gucci? Yeah, yeah, we're good. I'll come a little harder. To move which one? This one. Keys in there? I can probably move this one. Oh, fuck. You're pushing, Beto? Yeah. Rock. Come on. It just stuck. Come on. One more, one more, one more. Right here. One more. One more. 
Come on. There you go. Come on. That's it. No puede o qué? Va la cámara en el piso, compa, para que para pa puchar bien. Estoy firmando, güey. No, 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 no. no. Estoy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like a run, like a run I don't know about all that. <laughs> <laughs> Said this thing in a long time, bro. Mm. Probably gonna get wet right now. Oh, Jesus. So, the mass are three grandes and three chiquitos. Simon, okay. bomba, computadora, and motor. Oh, okay, okay. Here's the bomba. I think it's. Oh, probably some fans. Yes, yes, yes. So, what do we need to do? We need to scale it. Yes. We're going to power steering electric or the original? Electric. The electric, yeah. Ya nos atora. So, that's the thing. On, on park, bro, we have the, the module, the bypass module, uh -huh. we have it on, and, and the light's blinking green how it's supposed to. Uh -huh. we, already, we already have it turned up at full speed. When you turn it, it'll turn, but then it'll hit. Right now, it's parked. I don't know, moving, if it's supposed to work differently. Right? Tú lo calaste, sí. ¿qué decía? Está un poquito, no se siente, o sea, cómo no se siente. No me gusta cómo, cómo. Manejándolo, o parado. Ya lo manejado. Falta manejarla, ¿qué es toda? Creo que sí sale por ahí. ¿no? Si, ya le puse el módulo, la bomba está conectado. Ok. Alright guys, well, we're going to try out the electric pump. Now, this truck was in Puerto Rico. We have been having some issues with it. Some electrical problems. We're trying to figure out the electric uh, power steering. If this doesn't work, we're going to go back to the original stuff, right? Which yeah. is right there. Everything's wired up. We just got to connect the hoses from the electric pump to the manual. Ok, yeah, that's it. The belt's going to stay on and everything. Oh, yeah. No, it's the air compressor in the bottom. It's on the dyno. Oh, oh, oh. All right, let's try it out. I'm sure it's gonna do burnouts and it's gonna like spin and everything. But if it gets a little stiff on the steering column, then it's kind of hard to maneuver, especially when you're doing a tandem. If you're just in there by yourself, just you know, turn it, give it gas, and that's all good. But if you try to tandem, if you try to do burnouts with other people in there, it's kind of hard, you know, to, uh, to steer it around. To steer, yeah, 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 yeah. Get close and not hit them or whatever, but. Let's try it out. How much longer you got with your little part? Man, I, I didn't get two good news today, but... Oh, so you got a while to go? Yeah, yeah, we still gotta wait in a couple more weeks. You're gonna get used to it, you're gonna miss it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
Alright, let me try it one more time. serviced them but we haven't checked to see if there's enough fuel in the tank i guess that's how it showed up from the boat but we need to check that out yeah you can hear me about that but we got to figure that shit out too what well to see if we still got to mess with that module oh. or uh see if there's an issue with the pump or what we need to trace it see because we got we got the bypass module that's needed for for what we want it for but we just got to make it fully fully function yeah you know, it's supposed to Soy diferente en aire también, pero a lo mejor le falta gas porque cuando le falta gas es lo que hace. Sí. Bro, got chill, got windy. Chicago, <laughs> 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 yeah, windy city, windy H town. La la cual, la bomba de esa que trae, la eléctrica, eléctrica. No, 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 porque si se pone dura y luego no, no es lo mismo. Si acaso, lo único que podemos hacer es ponerle una pinche un radiador. But like one small cooling radiator. You haven't had issues with the pump recently, right? Because we had we we, we added a little. We added the power steering cooler, and I, I think that might have helped it out. I think that was probably was giving us problems popping them. Because you weren't having them issues before. Es que cuando nos dio issues es cuando andaba haciendo burnouts en Monterrey. Pinches burnouts de 10 minutos. Yeah. El peor es de que estaba lisito el peo, o no se no se gastaba la llanta. So it was just nada más íbamos ahí dando la vuelta, cagando el palo. Por 10 minutos y fue donde se calentó. Si le podemos dejar eso, le pusiste un, una a la, a la pompa de. ¿Qué le hiciste? We added the power steering, the cooler. The power no, steering no lo tenía. Cooler. It didn't have it before. Okay, so it was trae. eliminated. So we did that when we when we figured the first time you were having all the problems, uh -huh. we added it back and then with the new pump. Okay. And I don't think you've been having issues ever since. No, we haven't. No le podemos poner como una gauge a ese pedo. No, ¿verdad? Ya sería mucha mamá. Like a temperature gauge for the. Sí. For the uh, we could fucking fast something up, but. Si se puede, sería mucho, mucho. <laughs> no sé cómo, no sé cómo jalar ese pedo. Para, para tener una gauge, para yo saber, ok, hasta aquí ya, 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 ya para dejarle yo. Yeah, Prefiero yeah, parar yeah. que se chingue. Sí. Porque yeah. todavía, siempre la podemos dejar que salga cool down y lo damos otra vez. We can look into that too. Sí, pero si está, si está fallando y, y está duro. Let's go back to the regular stuff. Okay. Yeah, we should go swap the hoses real quick. Yeah. Que original. And then we're going to check the fuel level and I have Kike check the, the tune on it and make sure everything's still good how yeah. it was. Make sure the fuel's picking up properly. But it has a new pump, clean injectors. Well, we did the electric power stream pump, but it's giving us pause, so we'll go back to the old one. <laughs>
better, sir. Damn better guys, you gotta build motor, my nigga, it's a stock motor. What are you doing here? More lights over there. I thought more light in front of me. We're leaving. Oh wow, I thought 